Hi, my name is Akivani. I am an experiential designer where we design weddings, we design festivals, we design interiors, we design brands and we design pretty much anything that you could think of. I feel like this is a very important topic not only because it's 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 a trend that we have to talk about these topics no but I think it's important for us to start these conversations at the root level which is at colleges you know right at the institutions and not later part of their careers to say uh, you know this is something because a client wants this is something that the trend is asking for right so this is important that we are having these conversations now and it's important that you know you've got such a large vast group of uh, industry experts talking about it so that's that's i think you know it's a great initiative i think more of these events should really happen and more of this should you know i think a lot of colleges should really learn from this i feel this is very cool as to what iid is doing i think failure motivates me i think uh, wa uh, not wanting to be mediocre motivates me uh, not wanting to be an average designer motivates me there are lots of things that motivate me you know my friends motivate me and my family pretty much anything that i could think of it's just a matter of how you perceive things it's a matter of how you think of you know what is motivation for you and to me maybe this conversation is very motivating for me to really go home and think of something maybe me being here today was something that was very motivating for me to even come up with something new uh, you know in 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 what i do every day so for us i feel like motivation is always there it's just a matter of opening that part of your brain to say how do we utilize that i felt like you know the idea of uh, designing something and allowing uh, you know people to interact with what you do was very interesting for me and you know just the idea of designing something and understanding as to how humans work how human brain works and understanding the psyche behind a human brain and how that functions and basis that create a design and then you know obviously there are hits and misses but at the same time when there are the hits that you actually had always envisioned the moment you get that you know that's very motivating for you to say okay it worked in the past now i want to do something else because i know it works a certain way right so there's always that uh, as far as me being an experiential designer i never thought i would become one because you know it's only so many things that i've done in my life that have led me to this to be where i am right now so it's just i think some part of it is luck some part of it is also something that i'm truly enjoying but yeah it is what it is and i'm enjoying so even i don't know what i'm probably going to be doing 5 years down from now today we spoke about so much about social impact on what you're designing right and you can't just simply uh be designing in your own and not thinking about what you're really contributing to the society as well very important because you know us as humans see where we are at right now right look at climate change for example you know it's it's alarming it's it's something that us as humans have only created and i think it's about time where us as humans only come up, um, come up front and you know say okay we've caused this now we really need to get back and do something about it so very important that we are having these discussions and important that we talk about it talk about change talk about building for everyone around us and not for your own self so yeah i think initiatives like these really matter a lot initiatives like these i feel like you know is where i feel like faith in colleges is again restored faith in education is restored events like these i'm really surprised something like this is happening firstly because you know for me also to be amongst so many industry experts i also got to learn it was not just the students and i'm sure you know all my other peers have also the same thing to say because you've got so many people from so many different uh, you know uh, fields of design and architecture at the same time and then for kids to be able to get it right from the horse's mouth the information uh, the experience it's very important right i wish i had someone who could tell me answer my questions you know because google back then didn't have all these questions we didn't have artificial intelligence either but you know even though you won't get all the answers there but having you know so many people come here give out their experiences talk to you answer all your questions no matter how big small how important or silly that question is but for us to be able to come share our experience i feel that makes a hell of a lot of difference 
and you know to see that every kid every student here was so into that conversation it just wants us to share more it makes us to you know say okay yes uh, you know when you see someone who's eager to learn we are eager to share our experience as well so it's a give and take i think there are two things firstly one is be patient you know uh, if you if you want to reap benefits of a tree to get a fruit ped raat raat nahi ukta hai right if you want to live in a house you want to build a house wo raat raat nahi ukta hai so you know it takes time everything takes time so yes we are in a world where the attention span has become shorter but the fact that patience is always in virtue we've all heard that it'll always stand true and it's something that everyone has to realize know that you know what it's going to take time for so whatever you do be patient you are you will reap the benefits you will get what you want but just be calm about it and the second thing that i definitely want to talk about is be consistent because you know it's it's very important for us to say i am enjoying what i'm doing today but tomorrow i'm just not in the mood for it and third day i've just given up on it entirely and slowly you realizing listen something that i had been working on wanted to do now i don't have the heart in it that's something where i want to say that you know consistency is something that will end up you know helping you a long way doesn't matter you're failing fail 20 times if you have to but the fact that you're failing means you're trying and the fact that you're trying means you're moving forward so just these two aspects i feel like that's something that's helped me become who i am without realizing but now that i know i'm here to share that gyan with you all and just keep that in mind